can harm their value. Now, the national carrier Kenya Airways projects to lose 32 billion shillings in the financial year 2023. The airline further projects to lose 64.5 billion shillings by the end of next financial year. Now, according to the company CEO Alan Kilavuka, the projected losses are because of the shillings depreciation. The CEO gave the startling figure to members of the National Assembly's Transport Committee. Well, thank you very much, Nakundi. A very good afternoon to you, too. As you rightly said, this was a conversation that is between the national carrier, K, uh, that is KQ Kenya Airways, that was appearing before the Transport Committee of Parliament, seek, which was seeking about four issues that they were seeking KQ's indulgence. One of them is, number one, how is it that KQ was able to make a profit, uh, that is an operating profit, after six years? What, what, is, what, what are some of the things that they actually did this time compared to last time? And of course, the biggest news that is coming out of this conversation and out of this parliamentary committee is the fact that KQ now is projecting a forest loss of about 64.5 billion by the end of 2024. They're saying if the chilling continues to depreciate in the, uh, this year and uh, this is coming at a, at a time when today officially we have crossed the 150 mark against the US dollar. So these are some of the things that uh, the CEO that is Alan Kilavuka was speaking about to the parliamentarians and just uh, trying to explain to them why this is an issue that needs to be addressed and also just coming at uh, looking at some of the historical context particularly on what has happened over the last year and also where we are and saying that if this trend continues the airline is likely to lose um, the, uh, the amount that i've just mentioned which is about 64.5 billion shillings in foreign exchange losses our biggest problem in kenya airways is that we have huge debts that are denominated in uh, u.s dollars so any depreciation in uh, by of the Kenya shilling against the US dollars is quite significant uh, to our books. So with that in mind, uh, Mr. Chair, I will read the depreciation of the Kenya shilling against the US dollar has negative, negatively impacted the airline's financial standing. For instance, the negative forex impact on the Kenya Airways operations already booked in KQ books between January and September of 2023 is 26.6 .6 billion Kenya shillings uh, that is already booked and that is part of what we recorded in the first half of the year. Assuming that the US dollar Kenya shilling exchange rate uh, to be 1 for 151 uh, by December of 2023, Kenya shilling will book an additional negative forex impact estimated uh, at 5.5 billion in addition to the 26.6 billion so that the total negative forex impact on KQ operations in 2023 will be an estimated 32 billion and we have uh, at the bottom they are broken down uh, what the impact is uh, uh, most of it is of the loans as you can see the second line item there about 16.4 billion is a forex impact on uh, on the loan and we also have some foreign impact on uh, leases of about 8 billion Kenya uh, shillings. So in all, we estimate that 2023, if the exchange rate by the end of the year is 151, uh, we will have an impact of 32 billion uh, uh, loss, forex losses. The negative impact, forex impact, is further illustrated in the movement of the Kenya Air's US dollar non-denomination from the point of the loan's inception, that is 2014, to September 2023. In 2014, the Kenya shilling was traded at 90.59 to the US dollar, as at 30th of September 2023, the Kenya shilling was traded at 148 to the US dollar. Consequently, the negative forex impact booked from the loan since inception to 30th of September 2023 was 40.7 billion. Assuming that the US dollar Kenya shilling exchange rate will be 150, uh, 151 by December, the negative forex impact on loans only will have an additional 2.1 uh, billion. Further assuming that the US dollar Kenya shilling exchange rate will be 178 by next year December, this will lead to an additional negative forex impact of 21.6 billion. By the end of 2024, 
the negative forex impact on Kenya, Kenya Airways loan balances will be an estimated 64 billion. Uh, that is end of next year. Therefore, a weakening Kenya shilling significantly increases the cost of uh, the airlines financing and operating cost. And of course, Nyakundi, apart from the question of the forex issue, the other thing that has come about is the question of how long will it take to turn KQ around what needs to happen. And this is where the CEO was speaking about the current project that they have undertaken, a three-year project that is Project Kifaru. And just trying to, uh, to explain to the MPs how different uh, this is from Project Mawingu, which is targeting to have the, fleet, the airline fleet uh, at over 100, looking at a target of about 105. And also some of the lessons that he was able to pick from Project Mawingo and trying to see how we can then be able to move forward looking at uh, some of the missteps that happened during the implementation phase of Project Mawingo and what the airline is currently doing with Project Kifaru to be able to turn it around and saying that uh, if this capital injection does not come in time that the airline will continue to be there but it will be uh, it will be struggling compared to uh, some of the other airlines within the region and also he uh, he went on to speak about some of the agreements that uh, they have for instance with the uh, air south africa and one of the things that he said is the fact that uh, this is a complementary arrangement in the fact that uh, you some of the destinations that Air South Africa flies to are not the same or predominantly are not some of the routes that KQ flies to and also so saying that this is something that will continue and saying uh, also seeking the MPs indulgence just saying that uh, Kenya needs to do more particularly in requiring government officials to travel on KQ and uh, of course the issue of course also came up uh, during this session and uh, the MPs saying why is it that they end up paying way more about the uh, uh, market rate for KQ tickets compared to other airlines Here's how that conversation went. What the one did is because we owed a lot of money to uh, Venezuela, uh, we, we had a trading. We, we, we said, you know, if we pay you this, what kind of discount can we get? So overall, we were able to get a discount of 18%. And again, in aviation, that is quite significant. Uh, and then um, productivity, uh, employee productivity, asset productivity, uh, just utilizing the aircraft more. Uh, intensifying the use of aircraft, uh, having the employees uh, produce more uh, in, in, the, in the manner of working, the shift patterns, uh, all those things that are personally going to make us more sustainable. All right, so Nyakundi, of course, uh, the biggest concern for the airline continues to be the question of debt. Looking at some of these numbers, uh, of course, that is the CEO explained uh, some of the debt that currently KQ has and uh, some of them date as far back as 2014, just saying that uh, if that capital injection again does not come, the airline will continue to struggle and saying that this is sort of a painkiller and not an antibiotic that is a long-term solution. So I will be looking at some of these issues and just putting them into context uh, for our bulletin later on at 9 p.m. and of course we'll be breaking down some of these numbers just to be able to make sense to them to understand where exactly KQ is and what needs to happen to move it to the next place. For now back to you. All right Jimmy thank you so much for that update. Now the county government